MG Pika Studio is a very intuitive and animator-friendly Maya Pika tool with the powerful features that enable you to create your own customized Pika without any prior knowledge in coding. It's free for animators who only need to note and use the MG Pika files or note, uh, but only registered copy can be able to save the Pika file and notes. Um, so uh, let's check out how to download and install MG Pika Studio. So first, you need to go to the twinkles.com or mgland.com. There are uh, two domains for the same website. Okay, uh, so you check out the MG Picker Studio section here and go to the download tab, and you just click this link, and it will go to the Mediafire website where you can download the installation package for the MG Picker Studio. Be aware of that uh, MG Picker Studio support three OS platforms. So um, according to your own uh, OS platform you use, uh, you just download a corresponding version of plugins. Right? Um, once you download it, uh, you end up with this, uh, a zip file like this. So you just unzip it to maybe um, here. And the several files. So uh, you don't need to actually uh, manually copy anything to your script folder. You just uh, use this installation mail. Uh, you open up the uh, Maya and you just drag this installation mail into the 3D view and the installation wizard will pop up. Now if nothing happened if you just drag this mail into the 3D view uh, you just um, go to the script editor and select file menu and source script and browse to pick this mail file and manually source it and uh, in that way the installation wizard will also pop up. So you just click next and accept next. And these are a uh, final page of this wizard and with some installation options. So the first one you just choose the UI language. And um, installation mode and uh, the by default it's the first mode which will copy all these folders and the program files within it into current Maya's uh, user script folder. Okay, uh, and the second mode, it will not perform any copy. It just um, use these program files directly. So um, anyway, after installation, it will install two icons like this. One is for uh, loading the MG Pika Studio in animator mode, and one is for designer mode. Um, when Maya notes uh, whether or not you need to load MG Pika Studio. So uh, if you want MG Pika Studio be auto-loaded with Maya, uh, you just uh, have this option be on. So you can also uh, edit these options after installation. So if you want to load it in the emulator mode with Maya, you just use this option. So uh, auto-load codes can be stored in usersetup.mail or usersetup.py. So uh, for now, chances are usersetup.mail is being banned in your uh, production context. So you can just choose the usersetup.py. And if you don't need any auto-loading, uh, you just uh, turn off this load option. Okay. And after installation, just load the MG Pika Studio in animator mode or designer mode. So you just click the install button and it will do the installation and uh, will install two icons here. But uh, this is the new icons for the uh, shelf button. So chances are if you are installing MG Pika Studio, uh, it end up with uh, installing the icon like this. This is the old icon and this is the new icon. I will uh, use it in a future release. Okay, so uh, with the installation being done, now you can just simply click this button to load MG Pika Studio in animator mode or designer mode. And if you want to register MG Pika Studio, you just go to the designer mode and go to the help menu, register MG Pika Studio. So for now, I've already registered this copy. And if you um, if you haven't, uh, each time you save the each time you save a file, you will pop up a dialog. The dialog is the same as this dialog. And you just uh, purchase the plugin and send me the um, user code here. And I will send back the authorization code to complete your registry. Okay. So you just uh, input the code here and press the register button and you will um, 
let you to save or export the uh, Pico file or node. Okay. If you want to uninstall the MG Pico Studio, you just open up the MG Pico Studio in designer mode and go to the MISC uninstall MG Pico Studio. And it will show up the uninstallation wizard. You just uh, keep the uninstall program on. But uh, if you want to keep the config files, you just leave this uh, option off. And if you want to clear the template and clear the data, you can just check this on. But uh, basically, what you need is just uh, uninstall the program and press the uninstall button. You will uninstall the programs from your disk and also remove this um, icons that has already been installed into your shelf tab. And if when you uh, install the MGP Studio, it, you are using the remote mode, uh, the server, the program files in server folder won't be affected. So the uninstallation just uh, remove these uh, shelf buttons for you.